Hey Ubers, it's me, Gaza. How you doing? Well, what have I been doing today? Well, I went and picked up my artwork from the exhibition that I was in. It finished uh, on Sunday, so I went and picked it up. And um, uh, when I picked it up, the guy said to me that um, I almost <laughs> sold the green painting, uh, which was the one that was in the middle. <laughs> I, had to, I had to laugh to myself, so almost, <laughs> but not quite, you know. <laughs> um, but that painting anyway, I've already got a buyer in Amsterdam, so they said if it didn't sell at the exhibition that uh, they were um, they were wanting it. So, you know, doesn't worry me. But I have to laugh because he um, commented about my uh, white painting, my forest white painting. That's the one that looks like it has an arch in the, in the middle of it. It's like white on either side with this big hunk of colour and texture. Um, he said several of uh, his friends were commenting and they got into a little bit of a debate about it because they couldn't quite understand uh, why I wanted to cover up all those lovely colours and textures with white. Um, he, and he said to me, you know, uh, I, I, I don't think that was the right thing to do. You should just have left it. Similar to the green painting, but, you know, with all the colours and textures. And, and I had to laugh. And, um, you know, you're never going to please everyone. But, but it made me happy that he made that comment because at least they're talking about the artwork. And that's a good thing. Um, you know, they mightn't like it, but yet they're still talking about it. And they'll remember that painting because they'll, they'll go, oh, that was that. Remember that white painting that with that? You know, with just that big hunk of colour in the middle. Um, so that made me really happy for that reason. That, um, you know, it's a bit different that it actually caused some people to to think about it. And think about, you know, that they didn't like it for this reason. And I explained to him, well, you know, the reason I put the white was to focus the uh, the painting on the textures and the, and the, um, and the colours. And it really does. Um, and your eye jumps backwards and forwards between the white and, and, the, and the textured bit. Uh, I don't think he was convinced and, you know, whatever. I love the painting and I love my series of white paintings. Um, the Power of White series, sorry, and I'll continue to do them. And I hope more people will go, ew, what's that? But, and be challenged a bit. And that's what, that's what I reckon good art's about. If good art is challenging, then, then it's great. Um, so that was that. I picked him up. Uh, I'm going to go out and have coffee, coffee with this guy again uh, sometime soon. Uh, he's a really great artist, as in great studio, and really it sounds really interesting to talk to. So, you know, sort of want to hang out with him a bit more. I got an email yesterday from a gallery in Denmark um, saying that they'd searched me and found me on the internet. And um, if I was interested in having a solo exhibition, uh, at their gallery in Denmark. Uh, I can't remember the place, but it's on the um, close to the German border. And I had a look at the website and everything, and it sounds pretty legitimate. Because um, you know how sometimes you get those emails where, oh, come and exhibit with us, and you know you have to pay this amount, and blah 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 blah. But um, this was actually a proper a proper letter introducing herself saying, you know, that she'd found my work, etc. So, and to give uh, me her, give her my contact telephone number so she would call me, which is fantastic. So, next year, you know, I'm going to ring her up and find out what the deal is and then decide whether, you know, I could do it. Because from it, it sounds like the gallery is pretty good and um, I've had a look at it online and they've got some video footage of the exhibitions that they've had there. And it's a huge big space with huge walls. So my work would work really well there. So I'm going to check that out. <clears throat> Have you seen that film um, Paranormal Activity? Uh, we watched it the other night. <laughs> and um, I would give it probably a 6 out of 10. On the on the scale of um, my of my of the reef scale, uh, it was some freaky in some parts. Like I still get goosebumps thinking about it. Like a couple, you know, just the day after it, it's like 
ooh, some things really creeped me out. And it was good in that way. And it was similar to the Blair Witch Project in the in the way of the realism where that, you know, um, this couple, for those of you who don't know about it, it's this couple that uh, start to have paranormal activity in their house so they decide to document it. Um, so they have their own camera. So you, you're basically, the viewer is seeing through their camera as they're documenting stuff and some, you know, crazy shit happens and, you know, there's a lot of really cool little suspense bits that really make your hairs go on end and... But I got really... Oh, sometimes I just want to scream because they always portray the woman character as though... So submissive to the male because, you know, she wanted to go and get help from... Um, well, first they rang um, for someone to come in and see if they had a ghost or something and he came in and he said no it's not a ghost it's actually a demon and um you and then then he said well you need to call these pe this guy because uh, he specializes in um demons so um you know i don't do that i only do ghosts and he, anyway so he left and that's when all the crazy stuff started happening and you know she was like I'm going to call him, and he's going, and the, and the boyfriend's going, no, I can handle it, you know, I, I, I know what I'm doing. And this went on for ages and many nights, and he was still going, yeah, I can sort you out, and blah, 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 and it was just like, yeah, yeah, if you were my girlfriend, I'd say, hey, let's just get him in, let's see what we can do about it, and etc, etc, etc. Anyway, I thought it was an okay, hated the ending, it was the worst ending, I was like, what is that, it's like they ran out of money, it was, oh. One of those endings that I really hated. Uh, probably similar to the Blair Witch ending. It was one of those endings that was really far sudden and you just wanted to go, what a load of shit. Yeah. So I was uh, live streaming last night and a lot of people got to see me do um, a quite a bit of artwork. I made this the little, um, little artwork on paper, which I think is quite cool and look good in a little frame. And the eyes are pretty, pretty freaky and intense, but I like it. I like it. And that's the painting I was telling you about. The ones that they were thinking about the split and they weren't sure that I should have painted it white. Um, but you know, you either love it or you hate it. This was the other one that I was working on last night. Um, and I was working with that on uh, live streaming. So like I said, a lot of people saw me create, create a lot of this. Um, and I'm really happy with lots of elements of it. It's not finished by a long shot, but it's it's progressing, and that's good. Loving the eyes at the moment, um, and the rose stencils, and the rhinoceros, and this is I like that as well. Um, but I'm going to start coming and paint in some more details and start, you know, fine tuning it. Uh, I'm not too happy about that, but I'm going to fix that with um, quite an easy solution, and, and um, you will see that. So that's about it, guys. Just wanted to update, have a bit of a chat, and um, yeah. Hope you're all well. Let me know if you've seen uh, that film, and tell me what you think. Or if you've seen another film which you can recommend that you think is fantastic. Alright. Neat. You know, that's what's so fascinating about painting is, you know, it's like reading a good book. You really don't know what's going to happen until uh, till the end. And, you know, does it have a good ending or does it have a crap ending? You just don't know. And I think that's what's so exciting about being an artist and being a painter. Um... And I mean, you get little pleasures along the way on the journey as you're creating the artwork. But really, you don't know. You don't know how it's going to end. For me, I think one of the biggest secrets of painting um, and creating is, is the idea that you shouldn't give too much away. Um, you want to be able to have the painting keep people amused and have their brain entertained on some level.